Hey guys, this is Mike for Next Gen Walkthroughs. This is Call of Duty World at War, um, Veteran Difficulty, and this is uh, the third level, Hard Landing. So, you're crawling through these swamps and jungles and whatever, and you're gonna get ambushed by a bunch of bonsai guys. So, there's basically gonna be two, um, about two bonsai guys off to the right of the plane. It blows up, and then your allies will usually take out. There's going to be one uh, quick wave of bonsai guys who come from the second side. Then, when they're all dead, um, there's going to be another wave, both of about maybe three or four bonsai guys. There's one of the two in the right side, and in a second here, I will take out the other. Yeah, there he is. So then you'll see all these bonsai guys come from the side and your allies will do good work on those you might want to just clean them up, clean up the bonsai guys for them and then you're gonna be walking up to this little grass area and there's gonna be another ambush so just be ready because they come out when you're like in no cover and they'll still manage to kill you sometimes yeah, there they are right there. So just kill them all and move forward. Okay, so you're coming up on this little uh, compound or whatever here. They threw, throw a bunch of grenades up there and when Roebuck or Agent Jack Bauer tells you to move up. Uh, move up. So I like to take cover on the left side here because there's going to be a few guys on the little bunker on the left side. There's going to be a lot more cover on uh, the left side and you can actually move through these bunkers and uh, take them out through there. And I find that to be an easier and safer strategy than moving up on the right. So, just basically take out any guys you can immediately see. Um, if you picked up a rifle, that works, but your uh, BAR also is effective at that. So, just kill anyone you can see in the front line on the left side, um, and a few guys on the right side, and just kind of stay in cover and uh, just move up to the bunker on the left side. So as soon as you move up, you want to toss a grenade or something there, you know, j just to uh, clean up the front line. Again, you just want to move through the uh, bunker. And so if you just stay back, they're just going to keep pouring out of the bunker. And you want to keep moving up so that your allies will move up and the infinite uh, guys will stop spawning. Right there, so start moving through the bunker um, around every corner there's usually gonna be one guy with a submachine gun or something and then another guy on a turret um, so kill both of them um, the submachine guy or the whatever he, he's usually gonna be sitting around a wall just like that every time so you turn the corner there he is again um, there's no turret there, there's a turret next one though. And there's the turret guy. And there you go, you're through the first bunker. So, oh, there's a bonsai guy who ran in. Um, so, try and shoot out anybody um, you can immediately see. Once again, there's not a lot of cover um, just moving up front here, but as soon as you make it to cover, you should be fine. So, there's another little bunker in here. And it's really useful because this one is blown out in the side, so you can take out the guys on the right side as well. And not only the ju just the guys in the bunker. So you move through there, and so just there's gonna be also still gonna be a few guys in this bunker, so just be ready. Um, 
just kill everybody, move forward, um, rinse and repeat. Not too difficult. Um, oh yeah, in a second here you're going to get to use the flamethrower for the first time. And... Like, it's a pretty effective gun because it's got unlimited ammo and you can pretty well just spray it and, like, anything it touches dies. So, that making it one of my favorites. So, there's going to be these machine gun nests up here. So, watch out because they can kill you really quickly in, like, half a second. So, you pretty just, you pretty well just got to run for that cover there um, that everyone's hiding behind and hope they don't shoot you. And then, um,. I move up here in a second because you're gonna have to take the flamethrower from the guy who dies. So, um, toss a uh, smoke or something right in front of the uh, machine guns so they have a harder shot on you, and then just run up to the flamethrower. And when he dies, pick it up and get to work.